friends, it's your girl Jenny J back at it with another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Guess who's back? Back again. Jenny's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? 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 Nah, nah, nah. Before I even get into this story time, let me just go ahead and apologize for like being MIA. <laughs> I don't know, like everything has been so much and I've just gained so much weight and it's just really hard for me. I'm sort of like a total white girl right now. So now I'm back on like a healthy path and I'm getting all this energy. I moved to get back in front of the camera and maybe lose weight with you guys, you know. So, yeah, that was just like my big apology and the reason why I haven't been making videos that much. But I'm back and I'm better. And I won't be stopping. Like, I'm just going to be doing me. <laughs> so, uh, let me just get into the video. This is a story time about how I got fired. Like, it's just kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. And uh, let's just talk about it. <laughs> So once upon a time, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, so I got this job, right? Um, let's say it wasn't my favorite thing to do, but can you believe a string just ran the shit out of me? Anyways, so anyways, um, so I got a job. It wasn't my favorite thing to do, but I was grateful. You know how that situation is where you need a job and you get a job, so finally, whoo! You take it, no matter what you're doing, you could be cleaning the toilet, you want it because you need that ch 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 beginning, it was all cool. I even, there was there was a girl from my high school there, you know, and she was all like, alright, let me tell you, when I went in for the interview, you know, I was all skeptical and whatever, I'm like, let me just do this interview because, you know, I knock anything out of the park. <sighs> so, anyways, I went in for the interview and, you know, I was just, I look at the girl, I was like, this girl look familiar. But I didn't say anything because, you know, I didn't want to say something and it wasn't a girl in the awkward moment. So, anyways, I hear, um, I hear, like, this fine voice saying, Jenny! So, I turn around, acting all surprised, and I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, is that you, Ashley? So, she's like, yeah, what are you doing here? So, I'm like, bitch, you know what I'm doing here. I'm sitting down. I didn't, you know, I'm not doing anything much. You see me with this paper, filling out this application, like, come on. So I'm like, you know, I'm applying for a job. <laughs> and she was like, okay, whatever. So cool. Everything was all kiki. So I got the job. I started the job. However, with this job, I wasn't working like on a Friday and on a Saturday. And everybody was like, oh, you need to be working on a Friday and a Saturday because that's what we really need people. But on the application, it made you choose when you, you know, when you would want to work and whatever. So I chose my days. Don't be upset with me because you didn't, you know, tell them that you couldn't work on a Friday or Saturday. But I was able to tell them that I couldn't work on a Friday and a Saturday. And no, I don't have a Friday and a Saturday to work. So, you know, I was like working night shift, which was okay. It was more like, it was like, oh, I was working with older ladies. And, you know, there, were, there wasn't much like excitement going on and whatever. So as time passed, you know, everything is okay. Every day I went into work, everything was okay. I was, you know, I felt okay. I didn't feel overworked. It wasn't like pressure or whatever. Everything was okay. You know, um, the girl that went to my high school, she worked in the morning and we kind of had like passing shifts. Like we would spend like 30 minutes with each other, um, you know, every day, except for a Sunday. A Sunday we spent like maybe two to three hours and we would talk about like people from high school that we knew, you know, just a little chit chat every now and then but um everything took a turn when they hired this guy like this guy made the job a whole lot harder because as soon as he came on he was just being like super disrespectful and i just don't take disrespect so one day he and i were going back and forth but i'm the type of person like i hold everything inside so when when something happened like like if as soon as something happened and like I really feel it like when I cry I just cry and cry and cry and I just don't know why I'm crying anyway he and I went back and forth so we're having our you know words and thing and then 
I don't know what he said and I was like, I'm just over this shit. So I went downstairs now into my locker room and I was like about to like leave and stuff. So I called my boyfriend and I was like, oh my God, baby. <laughs> and he was like, you want me to come down there? You want me to come down there? I was like, no, I just want comfort. <laughs> you know, being a big crybaby. I need to like, if someone out there knows a way to like not cry, let me know because I would love to like just wipe crying all my life. Like I cry way too much for no reason. Half the time I'm just, I could be watching a show and it's sad and or happy and I'm crying. Let me not. I'm going way off topic here. Anyways, so boom. I was crying and this is where the job just starts to start starts to take a turn. So I was crying. And I wasn't enjoying myself anymore because now I'm going to a place where I have like malice with this man and it's just totally awkward and you know I just wasn't feeling that, that burst of energy anymore anyway so after a while I started to hear like little chitting like little people like talking about me talking about the fact that oh they need people on a Friday and a Saturday the most so they don't see how I'm off on a Friday and a Saturday. And you know, you're talking that shit with, my, with your back to me, always get back to me. How did Drake song go again? You know me, like the, the song came to my head so you know I had to find the song. Secure music. Man, you don't even know about the shit that I've been through. I just want some head in a comfortable bed because I'll be so simple. That shit with your back to me, just know it always get back to me. Alright. Okay, so it's like a little chitter chatter talking about the fact that I ain't working Fridays and Saturdays. And to me, it's like women could be so jealous. Like, why you want to stop another woman back because she had the balls to say Friday and Saturdays are out, but you didn't. You know, you didn't. But I did. Why are you mad? Anyways, so, of course, you know, I didn't address those stuff because I don't address jealousy. <laughs> okay, so moving on, they decided to hire a supervisor, which, that had nothing to do with me because I'm just passing through. You already know, like, if it ain't my business, I'm not invested. I'm just here to make the money and leave. Like, I'm just passing through. You know, the supervisor came, she introduced herself. She was a bit unprofessional, but that's none of my business. That's not my establishment. I'm just there to collect the money. <laughs> so she came, she had a little introduction. You know, she was talking about, how I, oh, I can't wear my nails and, you know, whatever, whatever. I listened, I listened. You know, it had nothing to do with me, I listened. So, fast forward to the day that led up to me getting fired because i don't know how long this video is yet but let's just move it along because the, the supervisor is here now and she's the reason why i got fired so we're, we're getting to the juicy 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 part so um I, you know coming to work i'm like good morning everyone i'm not i'm not that good morning good morning type of person or good afternoon good afternoon type of person i'm just more good afternoon you know one big loud good afternoon and who wants to answer answer who don't want to hear it over here but i said it you know i'm not the greeting everybody good afternoon good after after this is not parliament this is not um the white house one good afternoon is good it's suitable good afternoon like you know whatever so i reach you know i said good afternoon who wants to answer answer so I started to do what I'm supposed to do. I got to the job, I started to do what I'm supposed to do. So apparently she didn't know something. As a supervisor, she didn't know something. So she turned to, you know, Ashley, and she's like, Ashley could help me or whatever. So Ashley is literally have her bag on. So Ashley's like, let Jenny help you and whatever. So she's like, little girl, come here. Irks. Mm -hmm. Little girl who? Like, you know, I'm a grown woman, so I'm just I'm just like minding my own business at this point because she's referring to me as just a girl and you're just not going to work. So she's like, little girl, come here. So I turn around and I'm like, my name is Jenny. At this point, I'm walking towards her. So she's like, little girl. So I'm like, my name is Jenny. So I'm like, I'm we're like face to face now. So you know, she's like, oh. Little girl, I'm gonna call it little girl. So I'm like, 
How would you feel if I said, old woman, come here? Who told me to say that? Who told me to cross that line? <laughs> So at this point, I showed her what she didn't know how to do as a supervisor. And she's like, oh, you're not used to this machine, blah, 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 whatever. It has nothing to do with me. You know, you're the supervisor. You were busy getting introduced. So you should have been busy learning the system, right? Whatever. So after she done do what she's doing now on the system, she's like, come here. I need to talk to you. Me, you know. So of course, I'm like, all right. So, I think it's apologized this lady about to apologize to me because she totally passed her place. It's really outside now. We're like outside, outside. So, she's like, oh, um, how dare her, how dare me call her um, old woman. And that is so offensive and disrespectful, especially in front of the customers. And how could I do that? I'm like, this is exactly my point. I tell you, I don't like you calling me little girl. So, I'm asking you, how do you feel if I call you an old woman? I didn't even refer to you as an old woman. And this is the feeling that you're giving me now because we're now outside, even though there's customers inside, talking. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about your feelings that are hurt. So, what about my feelings? So, she's like, oh, but you're a little girl, yada, yada, yada. So, I'm like, but I'm not, though, and I don't like it, though. And you being out here right now is proving my point. She's like, oh, I need to take a look at where I'm at. I need to come off my high horse. My head is in the cloud. Like, no, boo, your head is in the cloud. If you think that I'm going to come and apologize to you for something that you did to me, but you can't apologize, like, what is this? This is not a fantasy land. This is reality, sweetie. This is reality. In reality, people don't apologize for shit. You know, when I try to prove a point, like, I'm trying to prove a point. Why would I apologize? That's your job. You should apologize. You started this, you know. So, anyways. So, long story short, we're out there talking back and forth, back and forth. Nobody not budging. She, I don't hear apologies coming out of her mouth. And there's definitely a lot of apology coming out of my mouth. So, you know, I went back in. I started to work and stuff. A couple minutes later, she called me. Oh, I should come downstairs with her. So, I went downstairs she's like oh I'm gonna send you home for today because what you did was completely disrespectful and I can't forgive it and um you have a bright future but blah 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 and I have a daughter at home and she's older than you and I call her little girl like that's at home we're at the workplace and I don't want to be referred to as a little girl because I'm working and you're working and we're both getting paid. Like, just don't do me like that, you know? Don't do me like that. So, she's like, oh, I felt so hurt that I had to take a water and come downstairs and cry and blah, blah, blah. Like, what about me? What about my tears? Like, I felt hurt too. You know what I'm saying? So, she's like, um, so yeah, so you're gonna have to go blah, blah, blah. So I went home because I didn't want to be there anyways. And then the following day I went back to work. And then Friday and the, Friday and the Saturday came around. Sunday, normally, you know, they tell me where my ship is or whatever. No text came through. So I'm like, okay, where my money? Because normally I get paid on a Sunday. So where the money at? So, you know, she's like, oh, we're changing around the scheduling right now. I will text you when you're on the schedule. Like, but you don't work like that. I work Sunday through Thursday every week. So there's no schedule for me. Whosoever schedule you have to switch up as a supervisor, you could go ahead and do that. But my schedule is set in stone, like carved out, you know? So don't try that shit with me. So, you know, I'm like, mm -mm. pay me my money. Run with my money. Run with my money. Run me my money because you're trying to get disrespectful again. And I'm not about to do that with you. So, you know. I went in, I collect my money, you know, uh, huh, huh, loud talking, excitement, and then I left. At this point, she was like texting, talking about, like, she was just going off, like, like a crazy person texting me, going off and whatever. And I was just like brushing me off my shoulder because I'm just above all this drama. I'm above, I'm above all this shit. Like, you did something wrong, but I'm leaving. But that's cool. Because you pushing me out, put, put me on to better opportunities. Like, you, you, you not putting me back on the schedule led me 
to start my own business. Like, you know, if, if I was still there, I wouldn't have the time or the energy to be put in to put to be putting all this extra thought in my own business. You get what I'm saying? So because of you, I'm on some better things. So I I should probably tell you thank you. You know, I should probably tell you thank you because because of you, I'm on some better shit. So after that, that was like a that was like a um informal you're fired. Like, you know, the words weren't exchanged, but it was like, you know, I never got back on the schedule. <laughs> I collected my money and that was it like that was like a that was like my informal your fire the time I got fired like if you guys enjoyed this story time I have many more story times that I could like put you on so because my life is like a story my life is like a story book yeah um you know that show XOXO Gossip Girl that's my life <laughs> Anyways, it is your girl Jenny J back at it with the tips and the tricks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. See you in the next video. Peace. I was a rich girl. Na, 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 na.